Noah Webster, the father of American scholarship and education, and whose name is synonymous with dictionary, made many important contributions to education and learning. His blue-backed speller was used to teach spelling and reading for five generations. After 27 years of work and research, Webster published his famous 1828 American Dictionary of the English Language at the age of 70. Although we know him best for his speller and dictionary, he is also one of the most prolific authors in America, publishing a variety of textbooks, essays, and newspaper articles. Webster recognized that words and language were strongly linked to and directed ideas and thought, not just for secular ideas, but also in the realm of faith. He considered that education was useless without the Bible, and in his 1828 American Dictionary, it contained the greatest number of biblical definition given in any reference volume. He knew that linguistic forms and the thoughts carried by them could shape a person's behavior, and with a clearly defined language, he could thereby promote and improve the young nation of America. He recognized the connection that clear ideas and clear thinking promote discernment. And here we find him appealing to logic, Isaac Watts' logic in particular. From a child, Noah Webster, as most colonists in early America, was very familiar with Watts' hymns, rich with language and thought. Webster graduated from Yale in 1778, where Isaac Watts' logic was used as the textbook for teaching logic. It shouldn't surprise us then that in his monumental 1828 dictionary, when defining logic, he starts by quoting Isaac Watts for the definition of logic, and then quotes him again further down, reinforcing his first quote. Who better to recognize and acknowledge Isaac Watts' emphasis on discernment and clear thinking than the father of American scholarship and education, Noah Webster? And yet it does not end there. In 1839, Webster published his Manual of Useful Studies. In the preface, Webster, a former school teacher himself, laments that many students often learn what they don't need and they don't learn what they do need. He then presents 20 subjects which he considers needful. Again, it should not surprise us then that this great educator included a chapter on logic and clear thinking. Noah Webster and Isaac Watts were both educators in the realm of discernment, thoughts, ideas, and true definitions. It does much credit to the authority and scope of Isaac Watts' work and subject to be acknowledged by such an influential figure as Noah Webster. To learn more about the Logic Seminar, check out our website, www.artoflogic.org, and you can learn more about our seminar based on Isaac Watts' classic book, Logic.